is Manchester United nil. Crystal Palace won. Manchester United have gone back to their usual ways of losing games, especially at Old Trafford. Four Premier League games lost as well so far. And this team can piss you off. They can really ruin your Saturday, guys. Seriously. Come on, United. You beat Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup. And I understand it wasn't the same team, guys. But of course, you think, carry that momentum into the weekend. And look at it now. You bring your best players back into them. Scrubs like Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes as well. Can't even flat trap bully today. My ass, man. Can't even step up against the small teams and control a game in midfield. Mason Mount, not mounting at all. Stressing you out throughout the whole game. Not producing anything. And Manchester United. Have you forgotten you've got a striker? Manchester United. They cannot. What is the point of buying a striker? And if you're not going to find him. You're not going to find his feet at all. Find him in certain areas. Give the ball on. Give him a through ball to run onto to finish it. What is the fucking point, guys? Of having a striker? This, this team pisses you off. 24-7. All the time. You think that like, we're not going to amount to anything with Mason Mount as well. We won't amount to anything in midfield. Manchester United, poor, poor, poor performance. All this possession for what, guys? Seriously, all this possession and you can't even create jack shit against Crystal Paris. Palace scored that one goal and said, you know what, we're going to defend throughout the rest of the games because you ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to go past this defence and score goals. We've seen you. You are pathetic. You, in the, oh, Manchester United offensively, we got so... And you've got players like Marcus Rashford, you know. So many opportunities, God damn Marcus Rashford. And you, your decision-making is the lowest footballing IQ I've ever seen. Seriously, you're my brother, but at times I look at you like thinking, this guy is just Rash Bandicoot, just, just, just out here playing football backwards, decision making poor, like not taking on your man's properly as well. Like Rashford, done and it, and it cost us, it cost us so much. And again, the midfield being ran through, we had Amrabat in there, and of course, playing left back, but when he slotted into the midfield, and we still look weak. Oh my god, Crystal Palace had a time, guys. That. That whole match really, really, really pissed man off. And guys, again, you've called yourself like this team just really wants us to be trolled on. And we'll go into the week, the weekdays. We've got a Champions League match. That 45 minutes, the first 45 minutes, my overall thoughts, guys. United were in control as usual in the first 20 minutes. Oh, yes, passing the ball around, knocking it, making everything look nice and peachy. Peachy, but as usual, after 25 minutes, Manchester United do their usual con concede goals. And that's when that goal came. Uh, Crystal Palace with a set piece, a, a set piece as they crossing it in, finding Anderson, Anderson to finish it well. And oh, Nana looking useless in goal. Couldn't even think about saving it. And of course, that was a difficult one to say. But again, it makes Onana look stupid, useless, and just again. No, 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 like a good goalkeeper right now, you know. The goals we are conceding, especially from set pieces, not good enough. Manchester United, step up and fix up, man. Fix up. Seriously, fix the fuck up at times, bruv. And then the second half, you you thought Ted Ogle tell these men, on your bikes, on your horse, I bet I want you to get at them in that second half from the get-go. Manchester United, again, what, are, what did you do towards Sam Johnson? The second choice, I don't even know, first or second choice goalkeeper. You did nothing. You did not test the goalkeeper. Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, and so much of you. Mason Mount, Casemiro. Our key players did not turn up. And our key players in attacking did not turn up. It took Alejandro Granacho to come on and take the game to Crystal Palace as well and be effective on the left-hand side. And, and then the, ma the manager as well. Those substitutions were not spot on. Too late at times. Rashford should have came off in the 60th minute. Bruno Fernandes. How do you drop Hannibal as well, guys? How do you drop Hannibal? That second off was atrocious. The manager is looking suspect right now. And I'm looking at that manager thinking, I can't back this shit no more, bro. But you know what? This club is a mess. This club has always been a mess. 
And then you look at the players today after it was full time 1 0 to Crystal Palace because Manchester United didn't do shit throughout the whole 90 minutes against Crystal Palace. A poor game overall in general. But those players today, Marcus Rashford is one of the reasons why we won't win major trophies and, and the reasons why we don't function as a team because your decision making in the attacking phase of the game is piss poor. The, you've got a baby IQ when it comes to football. You're 25 years old and still 2 plus 2. You can't make it. You can't add that up. It equals 4, my bro. My guy's going 2 plus 2 equals 1 and 2. Like, this guy, oh my God. And then Bruno Fernandes' decision-making when it comes to keeping the ball, distributing it well as well. That's what I say. We want to mount and we want function as a team because we've got players who make the wrong decision when it makes, comes to passing, keeping the ball as well. Split line passes to break the team and break the opposition. They just can't do it. Again, it will continue like this. Pelestri, people have been crying out for him. Oh, play Pelestri on the right-hand side. This is the reason why we don't play him. Because, again, he looked weak today on the right-hand side. Losing the ball, not being effective. Not, cannot take on his man as well. Cannot beat these players. I'm about, I feel sorry for him joining this team. Because they all are just making you look shit as well. You're going to regress here. Hoyland, I feel sorry for you. you no service. Zero service from the midfield. And from the side, Marcus Rashford telling me that like, we've been making extra training. You didn't find him. Did you find him? Did you look for him, Marcus Rashford? You didn't look for him. He was invisible to you. You was wearing Stevie Wonder's glasses today, Marcus Rashford. Marcus Trashford, I have to say. Manchester United letting the Manchester United fans down. And then the manager as well. Why didn't you stick with the team that you played on the weekday? They would have done a better job, you know. Well, up and saying we need legs in midfield. Where was the legs? Missing in the game as well today. Guys, it's been a poor game for Manchester United. And we lost. And look at us now. Just being laughed at. Just being laughed at. But guys, this has been your late... This has it's been your Manchester United reaction as well. Uh, for, for Manchester United versus Crystal Palace, man. I'm pissed off. Guys, we're back again. Live 8 p.m. So make sure you to retune 8 p.m. UK time for the catch up. In the comments, let me know what your thoughts on this game. Who was your man in the match? Because my man in the match today has to go to nobody but you guys. But donkey of the match, it is Marcus Rashford. Rashford again. Let me know who your donkey of the match is. Well, let me know who your man in the match is. Make sure you tune in f at 8 p.m. UK time tonight for the catch up, for the full reaction with the mandem, because it's going to be explosive. Anyway, guys, as always, try and keep it united. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out, man. I've had enough of this team, man. Peace. <laughs>